Hello fellow humans, I'm Gaming Park Studios and today I want to show you the game I'm currently working on, Cube Kingdoms. Yes, I know, it's crazy. Creating a MMORPG like Stronghold Kingdoms as a single player game? What a stupid idea. Okay, okay, listen. I'm a huge fan of Stronghold Kingdoms, but what always bothered me is that you have to be online all the time. In the middle of the night, at work or school, or on a date, doesn't matter. So I thought to myself, I already made a medieval RTS two years ago. So how hard could it be to make an offline version of Stronghold Kingdoms? I could use a lot of stuff I already created, should be easy, right? Well, the beginning was fast and easy. But meanwhile, my punching bag is very scared as soon as I enter the room. Guys, please do me a favor. If you have a punching bag, treat it with care. They don't deserve this. Where was I? Alright, the game. I'm currently working on it for like two months. And I mean, it's looking like a game. As you can see, unlike Stronghold Kingdoms, this game is in 3D and in a voxel based art style. I choose this because I already have a lot of experience with it, it is easy for a single game developer and I think it looks cute. Um, I mean, man. Like in Stronghold Kingdoms, you have three perspectives, village, castle and overworld. In the village perspective, you build your economy, like you can see here. They produce all kinds of resources, even if you are not playing. I know what you are thinking. Where is the difference to Stronghold then? It's easy, kind of. There will be a pause and a fast forward button. If you click the pause button, the game will stop. You won't get any resources, but you also won't get attacked if you are not online. This way, you can go on your date without having to go to the toilet at some point to play your game. Isn't that awesome? On the other hand, if you click on the fast forward button, you can speed up the game. I'm not completely sad with it, but probably your villagers need a lot more food or you get a lot less gold during that time. If you have any good ideas, please let me know, leave a comment down below. I would love to read your opinion. In the castle perspective you can see here, you will place your defense. At the moment there's not too much going on, but we will get there. I'm also planning to integrate magic into the game. There won't be any siege weapons you can place on your towers, instead you will have different types of wizards, witches and maybe other creatures that will help defending your castle. It is planned to add raids to the game as well. There will be really tough bosses where you have to actually plan and prepare with maybe dozens or hundreds of units to kill them. I'm not sure why the player should kill them yet, but maybe you have some good ideas. Please let me know. And finally, there is the overworld perspective. You will have your enemy castles and other things here that I still have to come up with. As you can see, the game is still in a very early state and there has to go a lot of work into it until I can make it available to you guys. If you want to follow the progress of this game, subscribe to this channel. And if you are really crazy and you want to take part in the development of this game, join the Cube Kingdoms Discord. I will ask you guys there if I need your help or another opinion. Until then, take it easy.